every now and then, so. Wait, are we starting into it? Okay. Yeah, we're getting into it. Classic Dino always repping the high roll. For sure. So yeah, Toko, definitely not one to sleep on either. Definitely a really solid crack. But all right, so. <laughs> Keep bouncing back. Toko, or Dinos going in. Toko getting, just smiles. Getting a bunch of damage and sealing out the stock in less than 40 seconds. Toko smiling. Yeah, that's what I love about Toko too, is he always has a smile on his face when he plays. Always has a good mentality. Ooh, got a little scared uh, of fair, I respect. Yeah. Unfortunate, but. It happens. All right, even out the stocks. All right. Dino's getting some good damage. Ooh, Pillars cuts off the combo right there. Fares him really in the face. Really good get out of option. And now we have an offstage Claren. So, um, this matchup I've heard before by SBS and other Claren say that um, Craig is one of the harder matchups for Claren. Yeah. Not necessarily a loss or anything, but Craig has an edge guard on Claren. Like, not yeah, super. like relatively consistently more than other characters just because of rock and rock shards. So I think that'll be the big thing here. Um, you'll probably, you'll most likely see Dinos losing a lot of, um, taking a lot of damage when he's off stage, or at least getting capitalized yeah. on when he lands. So yeah, Toko doing just that, sealing up that second stock from Plastic Dinos. Ooh, down air, but Toko DI's right. Gets out of that up smash confirm. All right. So I've noticed Toko's starting to play it slow now. He's yeah. kind of resorting so to platforms. Slowed down instead of going so fast. Yeah, waiting for Plastic Dinos to push a button. Yeah. Ooh, and Ooh. he dies with the rock in his hand. Like I said, Plastic Dinos is just so good with his Nair. Yeah, for sure. So Dinos down about 100%, but Rivals. Not impossible to come back. We've seen this. it twice today, I think. Yeah. Just amazing comebacks in general. Yeah. All right, so Dinos trying not to overextend, trying to look for this while yeah. Toko is just trying to prevent him from doing that. Just trying to seal out this game. But Dinos getting him some damage. Oh, that was a crazy call out from Toko, just jabbing right in, in front of that air. Yeah. Oh. All right, calls out that fair from Toko. With the down B. Oh, F smash is unfortunately getting a little too antsy for the kill. Ooh, oh, Dinos gets the forward air. Just poking. Ooh, catches him. Oh, I thought oh, it was supposed to be up smash. If he up smash, that would have done I it. That was supposed to be up smash. Up smash. Both forward of these players. Smash. And Dinos clutches it. Dinos pulling it out. Yeah, that grab to up. That should have been up smash. Mm -hmm. At 165%, that kills. Dinos clutches it out. Um, yeah, Dinos from about a 100 stock, 100, not stock, jeez, 100% deficit. There's 100 stocks in this game. I'm brings it back. Have you ever done that? 99 stock match. In Smash, when I was bored, but <laughs> not in this game. So getting into it, I didn't catch the bans, unfortunately, but... Are they banned um, Fire Capital, Sylvana Stage, and then Tempest Peak. Okay, cool. So this is Toko's counter pick to temp, uh, not to speak, Tower of Heaven. And Crack can do really good work here. Um, get some down Bs off the platforms, can run off an edge cancel. And still keep what he was doing, just like force the edge guard out a little more. And uh, yeah. So all right, Dinos with Slight lead right now. Ooh, trying to mix up the eye by heading him backwards in there. Oh, he doesn't tech, and that would have been scary. But uh, Toko Di's left gets out of that. Gets, him, gets the rock back, so get them out of here. Yeah. Alp smash. Ooh. Ooh, Toko holds up. That's actually really smart of him. Um, to get out of that confirm, if you're at high enough percent, you can hold up rather than away. Did you see that movement? And that moonwalk? Dinos? Dino out here. Getting, yeah, getting that good conversion. Great movement. Patient on his recovery. Toko not threatening too much space, but yeah, 
All right. Ooh, fair seals it. Very okay. methodical. Okay, he's playing it patient and... He just waited this time. Yeah. Just takes it slow, doesn't want to overcommit off stage. And he seals that out. But going back oh and forth... Oh my god. Dinos now has his deck in his hand, and he's dealing a lot of damage right now. And it's in the, keeps playing. And Nair to Theft Smash. He has no fear of showing his whole hand. No. Alright, just playing it slow. I think Plastic Dino is the first person I see that uses Moonwalking effectively. Not saying yeah. others don't, but he does it a lot. Yeah. Moonwalking, one of the newer mechanics from, I believe, two or three patches ago. Yeah. Whenever we swapped to Game Maker 2, I believe, or it might have been before. Yeah. But anyways, um, so even-ish game right now, Plastic Dino's looking for this edge guard, and Toko's trying to prevent it from him. Oh, drifts out. He wasn't in an easy spot yeah. right there. He wanted to get out, didn't want to get up smash, so he DI's out, but yeah. that'll kill him. So Ooh. Toko on his last stop, even, but evening even game. it up. Game He's two. Close. Toko looking to bring this to game three. And Dinos looking to just end it right here with a 2 0. So both of them slowing it down. Ooh, ooh. It's parry. It's parry. Doesn't matter. Or Dinos hops above him. AZ chance coming and out. AZ chance coming out. I wonder how this will affect. Just super even right now. None of these players wanting to overcommit. Just seal out the stock. Oh, the rock shards? Okay. The rock shards set him up. And oh That's my god. It. And Plus 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 Dinos it. takes it. 2 0. So. The rock shards? Interesting situation right there. Yeah, he down aired both Craig and, and the, the rock. So and the rock what that did. Send him down, and the rock shards hit him out of stun. And then he has to catch him with fair. Yeah. So right there, though, um, MSB was above the ground. He down aired Crag and the Rock. And um, normally, any, any character can detect that because you're in the air and yeah. you can just land. But since he hit the Rock Shards, too, it sent it at an angle where it sent him forward and was able to extend the combo.